What's up, everyone? I'm Dinebot, and welcome back to Flight Sim and Favorite Places to Fly. Today, I thought we would do something a little different. We're going to be taking a glider flight around Hawaii at sunrise. So this should be a really interesting idea. I've taken our glider here. I've chosen for a Textron Aviation 172 Cessna to tow us up. So I'll spare you guys the tow takeoff at sea once we are fully airborne. Let's fly. All right, guys, here we are. Fantastic looking view here. Now, we do have some thunderstorms in the area. Not at all the type of weather you would want to be flying a glider in. Let's just uh, make that quite clear. But here we come in over the city of Honolulu. Got the airport right there behind us. And the sunrise does make for a fantastic scene. Let's take a look from the inside of the glider. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous view as the thunder crashes behind us. Not at all the type of uh, weather you'd want to be up here in one of these things, but it's the sim, so it doesn't really matter that much. The weather is just gorgeous. Now, if we want to see the thermals, there they are, and of course we're going to want to be heading towards the hills over there because we want to stay Oh, you know, upright in the air, or a loft rather. Lots and lots of updrafts you can take advantage of. Now, don't think you're going to be making it from one island to the other in a glider like this. That is just simply not going to happen, but you should be able to stay aloft for quite a long time and get quite a good view from up here. Now we have done an episode on Honolulu and Hawaii before, and there is obviously plenty of history down there. Uh, right now, we are kind of passing by where all the major resort hotels would be located right along the beach. You can see the cruise ship down there. But this is more to the point of just coming and enjoying glider flight. Uh, it's something I'm a big proponent of. I like to do it in my spare time in the sim. It is much 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 more relaxing in a lot of ways than flying a powered aircraft takes a little bit of know-how a little bit of practice but really you're just looking to ride these thermals here and learn how to circle and rise up with them and it's really a lot more calm in a lot of ways than flying some with the other craft. And also, your flights tend to be much shorter. You're only going to stay up in the air in a glider for so long. It is unpowered. After all, it is inevitably going to come back to Earth, but that's part of the magic of flying. One is seeing exactly how long you can keep the thing aloft. You're also flying at a much lower speed, which gives you a lot more time to really take in what's around you. Let me go ahead and turn the thermals off and get rid of some of that distraction. You'll kind of naturally learn where they are and how to take advantage of gliding through one and getting yourself some more altitude. And as nice as the assist is, it does really detract from the view sometimes, but Man, what a view it is. Uh, places like this, absolutely perfect for gliding because of the hills providing the updrafts, but can also do this over flatter stretches of terrain. Europe is also a fantastic place for glider flights, owing to all of the mountain ranges. Absolutely gorgeous sunrise there. But that will do it for me today, guys. If you found the video useful or helpful, hey, like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. If you have a place you'd like me to check out, leave it in the comments below. And if you are here to the end, thank you so much. Watch time is key on YouTube. My name is Dimebot, and I will see you guys next time.
Thank you.